Hey, welcome back. This is my second video of recording and my process, and I'm using uh, a new song I've got to do that, and it's pretty cool. So last week we did the drums, and we talked about miking, and uh, computers were set over there and whatnot. Well, all that's done, and computers have been moved over here. Uh, there's all the drums. They're, they're in guitar land, and uh, so now it's time to talk about guitars real, real quick. Here's Here's the uh, situation. Uh, let me just explain some gear to you, for all you gear nuts. Uh, live system, loud system, PV Ultra, uh, a lot like a Soldano, I hear. And then right above it, there is a PV uh, two-channel, stereo, all tube. And so I'm running all tube guitar. So that's uh, it's certainly going for the tube sound. And then uh, above it, uh, that headphone amp, that's not, that's nothing. Uh, really what's supposed to go there is a couple of BBE sonic maximizers. And then uh, above it there is a RTA with a bunch of pretty lights and then a tuner. And so really uh, this is a mono and a stereo combination system. So the mono is represented by the 412 and the stereo is by the two 212s that straddle the 412. So it's really cool. It's a stereo mono system. And the sound is uh, as giant as you can possibly imagine on stage, especially that loud. Uh, and then the same system was duplicated here in a more controlled isolation cab. And, uh, you know, this kind of a thing. I'm, this is meant to run direct, this system right here. And uh, actually, it's kind of a combination, but I handle the mic, miking on the front end. I'll explain that. And then both systems see the same pedal board. Uh, and I'll explain that pedal board to you right now. Um, <clears throat> pretty elaborate. Some would say completely unnecessary and heavy, but, you know, I don't really do anything small. So what we have here is... Uh, the mono sound this represents the mono sound and I, I combined that which was gifted to me by my good buddy kevin sage and so i combined these two together to combine uh, and uh, make the mono sound so they're layered and they could be different you know one with the with the jcm and another one with a, a multiplex anything like that just really crazy combinations you can do that I mean, you, this is this one one unit is so powerful two of them together it's stupid it's almost unnecessary but who cares uh but any if anybody knows anything uh, about hooking two things together it just doesn't work it's full of noise and and there's phase cancellation i mean what amp receives two stereo sets comfortably um I dare say few. I dare say few. Uh, so the way I overcame that was with this cool thing. Uh, this big shot ABY switch. It, it's set on both, but this is the key. That's the, the phase and the noise correction. All that stuff. That's key to running two things together. you got to have that. And then so, okay, so what, these two have to be blended together. So the signal comes up here to the mixer. Uh, channels one and two is the GT, the first GT10, left, right, boom, boom. And then second GT10 is right here into a stereo channel. And then here's, the, here's an interesting thing. This is where I mix those two together, but here's an interesting thing. I've got a third GT3 in the rack that I run simultaneous to these other two. So that's three pedals going at one time for what well that's that rise right there represents my stereo and that's anything i want to be in stereo verbs uh clean you know just anything distorted whatever just huge stereo right there that is to say through the through the uh system that's dedicated for the with the 212s but here's here's where it gets crazy 
I send that, I split, have, a, have to have a third split. And so I send that input from the B output of the tuner. So basically I come bring my guitar in here and immediately it splits and goes to the AB box and out to the GT3. So that's that. And I and I, the only way I can control the GT3, sorry, uh, right there, is, um, that is to say, silence it, is to mute it right here. There's the mute. So it's muted. But that's to the GT3. If I push this down and I'm tuning, this is still live. That's the point. That's my point. So I have to mute it right here. So there you go. Um, so that's uh, one, two, and the third signal for that. And it all comes back into the mixer. So here is the uh, GT3. GT10, GT10, and GT3 all added together. But here is even the weirder thing. Uh, I've got this ISO cab, and I take that microphone right there, and I bring it up through an AUX. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, through, through an AUX. And uh, I take the input that's coming from the GT10 and add it to the, to the cabinet down here and mic it and bring it back into the console right there and, send, and mix that all into my sound too. So I have direct and mic all mixed of my sound right here. And then I send that out. Now, that didn't entirely overcome the chainsaw sound that you get from running direct. All right. So there are some other things that I had to do. Check this out. Let me move my light. Put this like right here, I guess. There we go. Okay. Right in here. Let's see if I can move this line. Right here, is two radial JDX speaker emulator boxes and they take the main outs of the the main outs of the GT10 and emulate them into a speaker sound before they hit the BBE and then the BBE is the end link before it hits the mixer which then goes to house so one added weird crazy thing i did was i even put a tc electronics mimic it's a it's a, it's something that emulates a 50 millisecond or less doubling sound like you know you know when we're recording we're always doubling our tracks well that's a kind of a live doubler it's pretty cool but it certainly makes the sound you know sound even thicker than thick 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 so I, in having to run a system like this, I needed to do everything I could to regain what I normally would have just running through speakers. I had to do all that just to get to that. So it sounds pretty good. You're going to hear it direct on tape. You're going to hear this exact thing direct. So you get a, you get an idea, but that's pretty much my two guitar systems. That's all I got. Oops. And, uh, and here's the guitar I'll be recording with. Beautiful Black Beauty. It's an epi, but who gives a, who gives a heck? It sounds beautiful, baby. Plays like a dream. I ain't getting rid of it. All right. Well, there you go. That's, that's your look into my guitar world. My insane guitar world. <laughs>